if you've been going through this phase where you just feel very like bored or emotionally detached from life, you're just kind of like, what is there to look forward to? I'm going to tell you what's next. So we have the Queen of Cups reverse and the Four of Cups, which tells me you are not satisfied with life right now. Very bored. Very bored. But after that, we have the Five of Cups reverse and the Chariot. It looks like there's something emotionally that you're still holding on to. There's a lot of, there's a lot of cancer energy. So if there is a situation that you're not over yet, or if there's someone that has just been on your mind lately that is making you sad, you know, definitely pull out your journal and get your feelings out. And uh, let's keep it stepping, okay? Overall, we have the Page of Cups reversed and the Eight of Wands. I feel like you've been holding on to this for a very long time. I feel like this hits a wound that um, you're very sensitive about. It's almost like you've been holding on to it since like you were a kid. And whatever this situation was that you just left, it's just been kind of like poking at that wound. So... This definitely feels like someone was rejected. So I don't know if you were, if you asked someone out and you were rejected or maybe you just went through a breakup. I don't know, but like, I feel like a lot of you guys went through a tough situation and now you're just kind of like emotionally numb. I think a lot of you were like taught or something that like showing your emotions causes conflict. Does that make sense? You're the King of Cups and the Five of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like you were shown as a kid that like showing your emotions, showing your feelings is like weak or it just causes a lot of drama. So you should just like keep it all inside. But I feel like that's making you numb. So it's time to release that. It's okay to feel your feelings. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. I do feel like your mental health will get better. But with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, the Six of Cups and the Judgment. <sighs> this is something... Ooh, bottom of the deck too. Look at that. The emperor in the reverse. Daddy issues? If you had a emotionally unavailable dad growing up, like that was just like, suck it up, rub some dirt in it. I don't know. Or you're just like a dad that wasn't there at all. Ooh, I paused that at 222. So 222 could be a thing for you. But I feel like... I feel like your solution the last few years or the last few months or whatever has been to like like when you deal with a tough situation you kind of just go numb and that's not necessarily the answer especially if you're trying to move forward in your life so definitely look at this wound look at your daddy issues release it to the universe have a good cry and then move forward with your life let's see what's like actually coming next because i thought i was gonna get what's coming next but they're just telling me that you're sad okay let's get an angel message yeah you're being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. God of conflict resolution. Ew. Okay. Anything else good coming towards the collective? Ooh, we have angel of finances. Okay. Honor and give thanks for the blessings you're about to receive. So this kind of feels like abundance just in general. So a lot of you guys are probably looking for a new job. You're looking to make more money. But they're saying in order to call more money into your life, you need to make room for all these blessings that you're asking for it looks like you're kind of distracted right now like your brain is kind of taken up by numbness or trying to numb something or like there or it's almost like you have like a daddy issue or a shadow kind of like peeping around the corner and you're like really scared to like look at it but it's like definitely calling to you go talk to your shadows become friends with your shadows it's okay it's not going to ruin your life. It's actually going to make you a lot better. I promise. Don't traumatize yourself. You know, if you need to go talk to a therapist, do that. Go talk to a friend, do what you need to do. But like, regardless, stop pushing it away.